Michael Burry is a legendary enigmatic investor whose moves and predictions are closely watched and followed by millions of people around the globe. Today we will look into his recent bets and companies he decided to invest in. If you're interested in finance and economics, stay with us until the end. But before we dive into the story, make sure you like and subscribe our channel to receive updates as soon as we share new videos. Bubble and Collapse Alright, so let's start with the early story of the big short investor Michael Burry. As you know, Michael Burry made a bold bet against the housing market that really put him on the map. In 2005, he started buying up credit default swaps, a type of financial instrument that allows investors to bet against the performances of mortgage-based securities. At the time, the housing market was red hot and most experts believed that the subprime mortgage bubble would never burst. But Barry saw things differently. He believed that the subprime mortgages being issued to risky borrowers were a ticking time bomb and he was willing to put his money where his mouth was. Turned out, Barry was right. In 2008, the housing market collapsed and the subprime mortgage bubble burst, causing a ripple effect that led to the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. The bet earned him $100 million and $700 million to other investors. But that's not all. He's a complex and fascinating individual. So if you're ready to learn more about the man behind the legend, keep watching. Michael Burry, a puzzling investor. Early in 2022, Burry predicted a decline in stocks, which he called mother of all crashes. However, a small portion of people disagreed. Some of them went against his prediction and ended up losing millions. To remind people about his prediction of the stock market crash, Michael Burry tweeted again and shared the S&P 500 graph where there was a 19% stock decline. He also said, and yet I keep asking, when crash? This tweet is no longer available on his official Twitter account, but you can find it on a Twitter account by Barry Archive. 2023 Market Crash Prediction Barry uses Twitter for his predictions, and his tweets have generated significant attention and have been widely shared and discussed amongst investors, journalists, and financial advisors. For example, in his first tweet this year, Michael Barry said, Inflation peaked, but it is not the last peak of this cycle. We are lucky to see CPI lower, positively negative in 2H, second half, 2023, and the US are in recession by any definition. Fed will cut and government will stimulate, and we will have another inflation spike. It's not hard. In this tweet, a well-known former stockbroker and private wealth management trader and advisor, the Cheeseman TX, replied that people needed to track what holdings Scion Asset Management holds, because Michael Berry owns this hedge fund company and whatever he invests in will bring you a fortune as well. The Cheeseman TX further mentioned that he made money from the financial reports of his hedge fund company. Berry is not the only person who predicted the stock market crash in 2023. Some other well-known economists and strategists have also predicted such crashes in 2023, which includes Guy Adami and Danny Moses. They also believe that unemployment and low interest rates will bring more inflation in the future and the stock market will be wrecked. According to Burry's predictions, it will be wrecked again after recovering from the first crash this year. Economists surveyed by the Wall Street Journal in October also pegged the probability of a recession occurring within 12 months at 63%, up from 49% in July. This survey has further strengthened Burry's predictions of a stock market crash. Why Burry sold his stocks? Michael Burry's Scion Asset Management had 11 stocks in the first quarter of 2022. However, in the next quarter, Burry sold all his stocks but only one. It is also essential to know that the hedge fund manager had already predicted a market crash. He also mentioned that meme stocks and cryptocurrencies are adding more fuel to the upcoming market crash. After predicting the market crash at the end of March 2022, Cyan Asset Management had 11 stocks, excluding 206,000 shares of Apple, worth $165 million. 
But after selling 10 stocks by the end of the second quarter of the same year, surprisingly the net worth of total stocks owned by Michael Burry's company reduced to only $42 million. Investment in Geo Group As of the last year's second quarter, Michael Burry's financial portfolio showed the purchase of Geo Group stocks worth $3.3 million. This group offers private prison services. The reason behind this investment is that the United States has the highest prison population of any country with one quarter of the world's prisoners housed in U.S. facilities. Over 2.19 million people were in U.S. prisons as of 2019, and around 44% of them were imprisoned again once they freed. This shows the high demand for prisons. The GEO Group's revenue in 2021 was $588.1 million, beating analyst estimates by $26.68 million. Earnings per share was $0.37, which also beat analyst estimates by $0.06. Similarly, in the fourth quarter of 2022, the business had $2 billion in net recourse debt outstanding, which doesn't include non-recourse debt, such as finance lease obligations or mortgages. They had a balance sheet of $588 million in cash and cash equivalents. Why only one position in Geo Group for a long time? It's not entirely clear why Michael Burry specifically chose to invest in Geo Group. However, it is likely that he saw potential for profitability in the company given its business model of profiting from a high number of prisoners, and its history of growth in recent years through detaining migrants on behalf of the U.S. government. It is also possible that he believes that the U.S. government will continue to invest in expanding enforcement agencies, causing the number of prisoners to double or triple even as the economy deteriorates. Burry's remaining five holdings Scion Asset Management currently has six holdings worth $41.3 million. These holdings include Geo Group, Curate Retail, Core Civic, Aerojet Rocket Dyne Holdings, Charter Communications, and Liberty Latin America Limited. Although Michael Berry and his team have minimized the risk of loss by diversifying the company's financial portfolio, still 61.9% which is equivalent to $25.6 million of the company's total current investment has been invested in two companies known as Geo Group and Curate Retail. Why Michael Burry bought these companies instead of many other? One of the other companies that Michael Burry invested in is Curate Retail, a holding company for various retail-related subsidiaries and brands such as QVC and HSN. The company has a strong and diverse portfolio of brands and generates solid revenue streams which is equal to $11.8 billion, whereas its total debt is equal to $5.91 billion. Another company that Burry invested in is CoreCivic, a provider of corrections, detention and residential re-entry services to government agencies in the United States. At just 9.36 times forward earnings and 0.76 times sales, CoreCivic is attractively priced. Given the high demand for private prisons, Burry might see an opportunity for profitability and growth in the industry. Aerojet Rocketdyne Holdings is a company that provides propulsion and energetics to the space, defense and strategic systems. This company is one of the biggest player in the defense and space industry and likely to benefit from increasing military and space spending by the U.S. government. Over the past year, the S&P 500 is down 20.96%, while AJRD is up 19.79%. AJRD earned $1.14 per share over the last 12 months, giving it a price-to-earnings ratio of 49.11. Charter Communications is a company that provides broadband communication services to residential and commercial customers. The net revenue of this company in 2021 was $51.68 billion, whereas its earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization were $20.630 billion. With the increasing shift to digital and online, broadband services are becoming increasingly essential and Charter Communications is one of the largest providers in the United States. 
Liberty Latin America Limited is a provider of fixed mobile and broadband communication services to residential and commercial customers in Latin America and the Caribbean. LLA reported $4.8 billion in revenue, $81 million in operating income, and $1.8 billion in adjusted operating income before depreciation and amortization in 2021. The company is likely to benefit from increased demand for telecommunications services in the region. Conclusion In conclusion, Michael Burry's investment advice has been incredibly valuable for those looking to build a successful portfolio. His emphasis on understanding the fundamentals of a company and its industry, as well as his willingness to go against the crowd, are key lessons for any investor. Burry's story serves as a reminder that success in investing often comes from thinking independently and having the courage to act on your convictions. We hope that you have found this video informative and that you will apply some of Burry's investment strategies in your own portfolio. Thank you for watching.